Hello, world folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. So after everything, putting aside, King Charles is determined to have his son, Harry, attend his coronation in May. Courtiers are figuring out how to bring the Duke and Duchess back into the royal fold in a low-profile capacity for his big day. According to sources, through tension remains high with his brother, Prince William. The monarch of Britain, as commentator Daniela Eisler believes, having the Sussexes in London will be a good PR action. His Majesty is of the view that if the Sussexes stayed away from London, could not be a greater distraction than having the duel in the royal family's midst which is why Charles is prepared to make concessions to persuade them to attend, Isla writes. Charles wants Harry and Meghan inside Westminster Abbey for the big day. He's willing to give the Sussexes decent seats and not stick them behind a convenient pillar or random German cousin, who is unusually tall, all in the name of a PR crisis-free coronation. She continues, For Charles, this looks like he's pursuing a containment strategy, some way of minimizing the chances of Sussexes staging some sort of TV tantrum. We're at exactly the moment Justin is anointing him with oil, or is he reciting the coronation oath? Officials invite to the ceremony at Westminster Abbey, which will take place on Saturday, May 6, are yet to be sent out. But sources close to Charles told Vanity Fair that he's likely to invite Harry and Meghan, because it's the right thing to do, and hopefully pave the way for peace. According to another royal insider, Charles is a forgiving person by nature, and he wants to move on. Whatever has been said and done, Harry is still his son and he loves him cannot imagine being crowned the most important moment of his life without both his sons witnessing the moment. Not everyone welcomes the prospect of Harry attending his father's coronation. Royal commentator Angela Levin believes granting Harry all access to the coronation is too risky. She opined newspapers will want to talk about everything they're doing so they'll spoil it. This is King Charles's day. On the other side, Prince Harry has been tipped to skip King Charles' coronation after two U.S. broadcasters allegedly approached the Duke of Sussex to commentate on the ceremony. The Duke's potential coronation role was tipped in Sunday Express a few weeks back where it was revealed TV companies were attempting to lure him to join media terms. Speaking on behalf of Spin Genie, world commentator Charles Ray said, There are rumors that Harry has been offered a lot of money by two broadcasters to commentate on the coronation. Of course, if they came, their presence would undoubtedly take the shine away from Charles and Camilla, on what should be a fantastic celebration not only for them, but the country. What do you guys think about this news? Do you think Harry and Meghan will accept King Charles' coronation invitation? Or do you think the evil Megxit got another plot in their bags? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates, like this. Subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.